What's up everybody? Eli here, back for a, another uh, CD collection video. Um, we'll just start where we left off last, last time we were talking about Dimmu Borger, and so we'll finish off my Dimmu Borger collection. Alright, so, <clears throat> we're going to start off with Death Cult Armageddon. This is their 2004 album that uh, everyone knows about this one. Even if you're not a Demi Borger fan, this album was kind of a big deal when it came out. It came out on uh, Nuclear Blast, which, like I said, I think they're still signed to. But, uh, yeah, this one, this album just got a lot of promotion. Um, a lot of money went into recording this. And, you know, they recorded it with a full orchestra and everything. And, yeah, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't cheap. So we got, it's got a CD, and then it's got a, uh, oh yeah, it's double, it's a double disc. Two CDs, um, first CD is just the full album, and the second disc is, it's got some covers, um, it's got some orchestral versions of uh, some of their older songs, and um, some, and even on some, I think there's orchestral versions of songs from this album as well. Um, personally, I like this album a lot, um, it's just, I mean, it's so catchy. The songwriting, I think, was pretty strong. Mus musicianship was, you know, at an all-time high. Um, I just think it's a good album. Uh, but I can totally see why someone would uh, disagree with that. After that, they would put out, uh, three years after that, they would put out Insorte Diabli. Insorte Diabli. Something like that. I don't know. Um, it's a digipack. This one also comes with a DVD. I don't remember what fuck was on the DVD, but apparently I lost it, or <laughs> misplaced it. I think it still exists somewhere. So this album was kind of a, um, kind of almost a 180 from the direction that, uh, that, uh, Death Cult was going in. This one is just more, more just straightforward gu guitar-based, uh, I don't know, you call it black metal if you want, um, Demi Borger's version of, you know, modern Demi Borger's version of black metal, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, it's just, there's, there's, the choir's gone, there's, there's keyboards on this, but, but they are a lot less prominent, you know, it's just more straightforward guitar based. It's a, I mean, it's a decent album, it's, it's, it's got some good songs as a whole, I mean, it's certainly not, it's not, it's certainly not a great album, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's better than what they have done since, which, uh, after that, uh, 2010, they put out this one, Abra Hadabra. And this album was kind of kind of a combination of uh, the last album and Death Cult. Uh, they went back to a, you know, a stronger symphonic sound. Uh, maybe not quite as elaborate as Death Cult, but, um, you know, still pretty keyboardy. Um, I can't remember if they if they had an orchestra on this one. I know they never went back to like a full orchestra like they did on uh, on Death Cult. But this one folds out to be like yeah, all the different panels. Kind of a nice digi pack, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't remember if they had a I don't remember what they did. I think they might have had some. Um, like an orchestra on some songs, maybe not all of them. I don't. I don't remember. I just know that this album is overall <clears throat> not, in my opinion, not super strong. I never really could get uh, fully into this one. And then they would not put out an album until 2018. So fucking eight years later, they would put out Ionian. Uh, I had. I'll admit I had, you know, I had kind of high hopes for this album, but, and I listened to it a bunch when it came out, but man, it, I just not could, I, I just could not wrap my head around this one. And not that it's like a complex album or anything, it's just not very fucking good, man. Um, I mean, there was not a single track on here that I could, I could really single out as being, you know, a great song. It just sounds weak, you know, it's not heavy, it's not evil sounding, it's just, I don't know, man. A total flop, if you ask me. Um, instead of, instead of you know, instead of having an orchestra, uh, you know, for symphonic elements, they added like a fucking choir. That there's a choir in here um, to you know to do the clean vocals. You know, they'd always have like ICS Vortex doing clean vocals or 
On the last album, they had Snowy Shaw doing clean vocals. Well, this time, they have a fucking orchestra, and it just... I kind of hate it. I, I don't think it works. I don't like that album, man. I, I think it's a flop, big time. All right, and that's uh, that's all of Dimmu Borger. As you can see, I'm not, you know, I have most of their stuff. I'm not missing much of it. <clears throat> all right, so after that, we're gonna move on to uh, Dio for the rest of the for the remainder here. Um, starting off with his debut album, Holy Diver. We all know this one. You know, we all know it. We all love it. It's a classic. Um, came out what eighty two. I want to say 82, 83, came out in 83, so yeah, What's, what to say about this one that uh, you don't already know, nothing, there's nothing I can add, you know, it's got, it's got, you know, Stand Up and Shout and Holy Diver and Rainbow in the Dark, it's got the songs that, you know, he's most known for, um, personally, I do think that's the best Dio album, I know that's up for, for debate, um, and the second best Dio album, in my opinion, Easily as good, well, it, it might even, this one for me might even rival Holy Diver, but uh, Last in Line, awesome, definitely, uh, probably my favorite cover art, but all, I'm, Holy Diver cover art is fucking amazing, so that's hard to say, but yeah, this one would come out in, what, 80, 84, so just the next year, it's back when big bands could put out a year, an album every year, those were the days, huh, but yeah, excellent artwork in here, um, Egypt, Breaking the Chains, um, I Speed at Night. I mean, this album is pretty awesome. Like I said, uh, I think this, in my opinion, this this is the one Dio album that could probably rival Holy Diver. After that, I'll be honest, uh, it's kind of, you know, as much as I love Dio, I mean, the rest of his disc discography for me is kind of spotty. Um, so after that, he would put out Sacred Heart in 85. So yeah, he's still, still doing an album per year. Sacred Heart is all right. Um, I don't think it's great. I think it's good. Um, I think it's got some, I think there's definitely some filler on here. Uh, it's, you know, pretty far from being one of my favorite Dio albums. After that, he would do Dream Evil, which, uh, man, I, I don't know. Dream Evil isn't, I don't think it was really much of a step up from Sacred Heart. Uh, this came out in 87, so now he's taken a little bit longer to, you know, to write albums. Good cover art. Lots of filler, you know, in my opinion. not It's not a great album. It's definitely an okay album. It's not great, though. And I don't have all the Dio albums, so... Um, I don't know if this one is the next one after that. It might be. This came out in 1990, so that would be three years after that. Lock Up the Wolves, amazing cover art. However, I don't think the album itself is amazing at all. This is an album that you'll see a lot of people, especially a lot of younger people, will be like, this is the most underrated album ever. This is like the, the one Dio album no one ever talks about. And that's because it's just not that fucking good. Um, there were some lineup changes. I want to say this is almost a completely uh, different band. Um... But yeah, I, I, I've had this album since I was probably, I've had this album for probably almost 20 years, and I've never I've been able to get into it. I just, I don't, I don't think it's a great album like, you know, certain people would want to have you believe. If you think it's great and you love it, that's awesome, but, you know, I've, I've never been able to get into it. And last but not least, this is actually my favorite out of, like, modern Dio albums post, I don't know, post-1990, I guess you could say. I think this is the best Dio album, and one of the best in uh, his discography, I think. What I'm talking about here is Magica. Came out in 2000. Y2K. Remember that shit? Uh, Magica. It's, it's an awesome album. It's a, it's a concept album where the um, the last track is like, like 15 or 20 minutes of Dio just talking and telling the story of it. Um, so yeah, you open it up. It's got the booklet, and then it's got this... The Story of Magica, which I never did look at this. I guess you could read it. It's, um, yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. I should read this someday. It's, I guess, a written story. Never have read that. Maybe maybe I should. Maybe it's cool. I don't know. But the album, musically speaking, the album is pretty awesome. Uh, I like this one a lot. 
anytime I'm going to listen to Dio and it's not, you know, one of the first two albums, this is probably my third favorite, so. Dio Magica. Um, other than that, you can see I'm representing, wearing this t-shirt, The Glorious Dead. This is Marty's band, Marty Worm. Um, I can, I, you know, I definitely want to recommend uh, picking up um, some Glorious Dead stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, I am, uh, I am, you know, supporting my friend, but also, you know, if I thought the band wasn't very good, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, the music is fucking awesome. Uh, go, go to the Glorious Dead band camp, or you can go to Bind Rune Recordings and get some stuff there. Um, you can get a demo tape, which is what I have, and it's awesome. Um, there's a 7-inch vinyl, which I haven't gotten yet. I really, really need to get that soon. He's got a couple different shirt designs. And, yeah, don't take my word for it. Just go to Bandcamp and listen to some of the tracks if you like old, um, old, nasty, dirty Swedish death metal. Um, this is uh, would definitely be up your alley. So, uh, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll try to leave a link down below if I can remember. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marty, if I forget. Um, but you guys can... You, figure it out. Just go to Glorious Dead. The band camp is called We Are the Glorious Dead. But you can easily find it. I'll try to leave a link. I'll leave a link down below to my uh, distro as well if you want some black metal tapes. And that's all I got for now. So uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. We'll talk soon. Cheers.